Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Last week we learned the first solo break from Wagon Wheel, and today, as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to play the second break from this song. So I hope you stay tuned for this video and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. That always helps me out and keeps the video circling around that algorithm. And if you're not already subscribed to The Tune Project, I invite you to hit that red subscribe button below so that you can join The Tune Project community and also hit the bell so that you can be notified each time I upload a new video, which I upload every single week. And before we get into this one, if you have not seen my tutorial for the first break, I'll leave it up here in the cards so that you can check that out before jumping into this one. But for the rest of you who already know that one, let's dive right in. So we're in the key of A major still, just like we were for the first break. So if you need to warm up by playing a quick A major scale, feel free to do that. We have more going on on the G string today as well, just like in the last break. So be sure that your fingers are familiar with that, especially that third finger. We're gonna be using that and stretching all the way up to a C sharp today. So make sure that you're prepared. All right, so we're starting off on the D string with our first finger E. And again, we have eighth notes in this one and they're also swung just like we did in the last break. So you'll notice we're gonna be working with that long, short, long, short rhythm. All right, so here is the first phrase. <laughs> Okay, so already you're probably recognizing some of these patterns and melodies from the first break because a lot of it we've heard already. This is a very similar break to the first one, except it's just a little bit shorter. So there, there's maybe some good news. But moving along to the next break, we are starting on the A string where we left off. <laughs> All right, so there's our second phrase, and you might have noticed the rhythm changed just a little bit when we got toward the end, so make sure that if you need to listen to that rhythm again, just rewind and listen to me play that maybe a couple times or as many as you need to, because that is a little bit different and we do have quite a lot of string crossings going on there. And if we finally make our way down to our low A on the G string. So there's a lot of jumping around, just make sure you're comfortable with that. And if you need to practice just that, those four to five notes on their own, then definitely do that. So next we're coming up on our triplets and we're starting again on the G string on our second finger B. <laughs> All right, so that time we actually had another eighth note tacked on to those the triplet that we had. So you're actually gonna be slurring that one into the triplet. So we have a total of four notes that we're gonna be playing in the same bow. So just make sure that you have a good handle on that and that'll be on an up bow. Next, starting on an up bow, we find our C sharp, that third finger. So make sure we reach all the way up to our C sharp and have it set and ready to go. All right, and that last phrase should sound so familiar to you because we actually had that at the end of the first break. So again, we're tying in some of these melodies that we've already come across into this break. And that's the whole second break. It's like I said, it's a lot shorter than the first one, which is nice, a little bit less to worry about. And also since we've seen some of these notes already and rhythms, hopefully you kind of already have a good grasp on how to play those so that it's not too much of a struggle. Well, congratulations for learning this one, this second break of Wagon Wheel. Now, if you're interested in seeing the sheet music for this one, Fiddlehead here on YouTube has a great arrangement of it and I will leave it linked in the description box of this video. I'll leave it in a blog post on my website for you to check out if you wanna see how some of those rhythms and maybe if you're not sure of some of the notes and you wanna just double check with the music, that's a great resource. So be sure to check that out if you need. And until next time, happy practicing.
If you'd like to further your support of The Tune Project, be sure to head over to patreon.com slash The Tune Project for information on that. And if you're planning on buying any music or doing any shopping on Amazon, be sure to head over to The Tune Project website, which I linked in the description box of all of my videos. Click my Amazon banner and whatever you purchase, a small percentage of that will go toward The Tune Project. This just keeps The Tune Project going and allows me to continue to create free content for you all.